see me. <laughs> I can't see me. I see me. YouTube. What's good? Uh. All right, y'all. What's good, man? I'm in the room today because it's hot. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It's hot as fuck out there. So, um, but last time I made a video and all that, uh, I talked about, I hope y'all can hear me too, because I'm like far away from the camera now, and I ain't got no boom mic or nothing like that, so I hope y'all can hear me, like real good, I try to mess with volume, um, if it don't sound good, whatever, but, um, I want, uh, last video I got up here, I was talking about how, uh, with the bad things about, uh, the bad things about, uh, Uber, Lyft, and all that stuff, so today I want to talk about the good shit, like the, the shit that, that keeps, that can keep you going with this shit, like, um, uh, man, like, and it's, and mind you, of course, like everything, everything in the world, the, the bad is gonna outweigh the good, of course, like everything in the fucking world, right, um, but, uh, the good things are amazing, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, let's get right into it, man, the first good thing, of course, is freedom, of course, the freedom to, to do what you want with this, um, like cut it on anytime you get ready, cut it off anytime you get ready. You don't gotta wait for no uh, 15 minute, 30 minute lunch, 15 minute break, hour break, hour lunch, whatever the fuck. You ain't gotta worry about none of that stuff. Um, it's whenever, whenever you feel like you ain't gotta ask boss lady or boss man, um, you know, hey, can I go use the bathroom or not? Like, you know what I mean, like you just, just whenever you finish a ride, just go use the bathroom. Or when you picking up somebody, go use the bathroom or ask the person that you with if it's a long ride like you're working use bad you mind if i use the bathroom or whatever like and just ask for courtesy like when it comes to that like i only say ask like ask the person that you riding for um if you can use the bathroom because just a courtesy thing i mean it's your car i mean you know what i mean like you pull that over every time you get ready but um just for professional reasons just you know make sure you ask for whatever and all that right but uh all right, you know, of course, so of course, that's a good thing. That's that's the most beautiful thing. That's the biggest draw to this. That's that's everything in this. Uh, that's not everything, but that's like hot. That's the top um, reason why you would want to really do this. Um, secondly, uh, let's see, another one is uh, secondly, uh, I kind of want to save that one, but fuck it, I'm saying it anyway. Secondly, you get paid any time. Repeat that. You get paid any time. I like to tell people my uh my payday is every day. Like I don't have a weekly pay, um bi-weekly, you know, monthly salary, whatever the fuck. Like I get paid every day. Every day I drive, I can take out money and get paid. You have no idea how like how different of a feel that is. Like um, you know, I know some people might. I know some people, uh, like my ex in particular, she would say that she can't handle stuff like that. I get that. I get that. So this just keep it where it's at. It might not be the thing for everybody. Like everybody not, not, might not be able to handle on, might not be able to handle uh, getting paid every day because you were spending. You were spending way more quicker and all that stuff. Yeah, I get that. I get that. So, uh, but to people that can, you know, people that want to live that life and whatever you feel like you can do that better. It's way better because, like, I personally can never imagine myself going back to getting paid weekly or every two weeks or getting paid. It's just the thought now of, damn, I've been working this fucking long. I, I got to work a whole week just to get paid. Nah, nah, like, I, I did this today. Like, whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm working, I did it today. Like, why don't I get paid today? Now, I don't know about how the job system works and why they do it like that or whatever. I have no idea. Um, but I know that I personally hate it. I, I can't I can't think, I can't imagine me, because I do a lot of stuff now. And when you, if you get into this, um, you will figure out that you got, like, like my ex would say, like, you know, uh, she can't handle it because she knows she would be spending daily. To, uh, but and that happens. You spend daily when you get, especially when you start and you figure out that you can do it like this, and you get paid every day. You spend every day, right? Of course, you're spending gas every day. That's gonna be a thing. So you're gonna always pull your card out, regardless. Um, you get food every day. 
you know, you're gonna pull out money regardless, and that could cause somebody to want to buy more things that day, and you know, like that. And I was like that. I was like that at first too. I was just like that. I would like everything that I wanted. I just buy it that day because I got paid that day. You know what I'm saying? I would just drive to get that certain amount of money, um, until I can get that certain thing. You know, uh, or I would drive a little extra after I made my goal. I would drive a little extra just to be able to pay for that thing that I want, if it was small or whatever. Um, and you'll find yourself doing that. It'll turn into a daily thing after a while, but it'll wear off. My wall uh, is more more so like, once you figure out, once you really get into small things that you want, um, cause you know, it ain't like you about to drive for a month and get a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, <laughs> I wish, that's what I want. That's my dream car and uh, a Mustang. But it ain't like you about to drive a month and drive for a month starting from zero and you gotta, I don't care how much you drive, you can drive 24 hours a day. Maybe if you drive 24 hours, but you, you don't wanna do that. It's just not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you do that. But, um, then like I said, it's not like you about to work a month or drive two months, three months and buy a fucking mansion, like not like that. So once you get all the little things out that you wanted to get, it'll become like, you know, you'll start saving more. You'll start thinking more about your future and what you want in your future. So versus all that, you will start saving more. So then that weekly thing won't, that daily getting paid thing won't drive you so hard or whatever. Um, uh, and so again, that's a beautiful thing about this. You get paid daily. That's just so fun. That's amazing right there. Um, and uh, okay, so that's two, three. Uh, the people you meet. The people you meet are awesome, bro. Of course you get sometimes you get some assholes or I can't say I got any assholes. Maybe they're assholes in their personal life. Like I can tell from how they talk, they probably assholes in their personal life. But as far as when they in the car, they won't really like that. Um, and so uh, you, you get to meet people, you get to hear people's stories. Like uh, if you a person like that, like and I don't mean like you about to be nosy and shit. Like you know what I'm saying. But you get to uh, like you just get to hear people's stories. You get to hear people take some things. People give you information that you would have never knew. Nobody ever told you. Like, nigga, I'm about to go surfing. Like, nigga, I'm dead real. I'm about to go surf. I'm about to get a surfing lessons. Like, dead real. And being that I was I drive lift, I uh I picked up people here in Florida that surf. So they can give me better information. Like, yeah, real nigga shit, bro. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga shit, bro. I'm definitely about to surf. <laughs> no, you never heard niggas say that. But yeah, um, I see people that I met people that literally do that, so they gave me certain spots. They tell me what certain, you know, spots to surf good at, what to learn surfing lessons, where to get certain boards from. Like, that's just an example. That's just my example. Like, but it's shit like that that you learn. Like, you learn shit uh, uh, more quicker than you would just going to a place and getting just their take or knowing your homies or knowing somebody that knows somebody. That, you know, you, you get way quicker information about certain things if you were talking. Um, uh, so that's a beautiful thing, like meeting the people and the, the laughs you have, man. I can't, it's been, I've been doing this almost two years now. I might as well say two years. So it's a lot of things that I kind of forgotten like now, but especially in the beginning, man, it was some of the most, I can't say unforgettable times because I kind of forgot about it, but I, I do remember a few that will be labeled as unforgettable. Some unforgettable times, like turn up nights. Like I know. A lot of people always ask you, when you start driving, a lot of people start asking you, do you drive nights? That'll be the number one question for people. They're going to always ask you, do you, have you drove nights and whatever, whatever. You drive last night, especially if it's a Sunday. Like, did you drive last night? Oh, that whatever, whatever. But, but night driving is fun. Um, Of course, it's dangerous. Look, everything is dangerous, my nigga. Everything is fucking dangerous. I'm sitting in a fucking room right now. Some nigga could walk in right now. Everything is dangerous. But um, but uh, so night but night driving is super fun. Like especially I, I was in Raleigh last time, so I got a. I was in a college town, so it's a uh, it was a lot of college people all picking up. So they'll be drunk college nights on, and I know a lot of people can't handle that. That probably ain't like a, that ain't like a, a big up to to a lot of people. I get it, 
Um, some people might not want to have that type of crowd, but you're gonna get that type of crowd if you go nice. It's just it's inevitable, especially if you're in a college town or if you're in a town to turn up in any any capacity. Um, hell, if you're in a town that has a liquor store, <laughs> you gonna get drunk people. You gonna get people that want to turn up. That's just it's a given. Um, and uh, they, but to me, they were like fun people. Like, I had some great times, awesome times. Um. So again, like I said, during daytime, day driving to you get people that's happy. You get people that's happy as fuck. And like I mentioned in my last video about the bad things, it, it, it'll tear you up when you get those good people and then that next person coming, they all dry and the end of the world and it's like the whole earth, like moss just came down and poof, hurt their whole soul and you know, whatever, whatever. But, um, but like I said, but that's the bad thing. But the good thing is you do meet those good people that have that turn up with you, that make you laugh, that make you happy. Like you know, um, you might be going through a bad thing. You will get a passenger. And you don't even want it. I know how bad times go. Like you don't really want nothing like that. But you still getting out there and driving. You still trying to make your money. And at this point, it ain't even about the people. It's about get, making your money. I get it. And uh, you will, you will run into those people that's like so fucking fun, so fucking fun, man. Like. It's crazy, right? So, uh, the people. That's three people. All right. Four. I, I guess four will be lumped into the one, which is the freedom. Again, I should have just lumped that into the first one, but I can move anywhere. That could be a, a whole separate thing. I can go anywhere. You can go anywhere with this. You can go anywhere. I'm literally, I literally move from city to city to city, bro. I literally do that. Like, I live in hotels. Uh, you see me in a hotel, it's by choice, my nigga. For all you, all you might be bougie people out there, because I know I can get some crazy comments sometimes about some certain stuff I say. Guess what? I want to be in a hotel. You know why I want to be in a hotel? First and foremost, I, I know this video ain't about hotels, but I'm about to break it down to you, because I know niggas, whatever. But um, I've been in a hotel because I ain't got to pay no uh, fee. I ain't got to pay no application fee. I got to pay no... All I had was pay weekly. Like, I ain't named credit, credit checks, none of that shit. So, uh, back to the Uber thing, Uber Lyft thing. Man, I do Lyft more. But back to all that, like, I can do this. I can literally go from state to state to state to city to city to city and just drive and make money that day. Like, and I don't mean like I'm going, so I'm about to move somewhere and I got to wait till Monday to, uh, to, to, to start work and you know, whatever, start making money. Then you gotta wait till next week to get paid or next two weeks to get paid to start living this life out here. Nah, day one, as soon as you touch down. Like, you ain't, even gotta, you ain't even gotta go to your room. You ain't gotta go. You are at work in your car. <laughs> Every moment you in your car, you're at work. Think about that for a minute. Just put that in consideration. Every moment you're in your car, the car that you use Lyft and Uber with, whether that's your personal car or you have a car set, you get a car and you set it aside for that particular reason. Any time you're in the car, in your vehicle, you are at work. Think about that. All you get, all it is is a flip of a switch. That's all it is. All it is a pressure of a button. There you go. Not a flip of a script. A flip of a switch is a button. But all it is is a pressure of a button. And you at where you making money. Right then. Because more than likely you're going to get a ride. <laughs> like, see what I mean? Unless you're just in the middle, middle of the West bubble fuck. Um, you're going to get a ride, right? Uh, but you might, now it might fluctuate on how many rides. You might be in a town that got li very little rides. Or you might be in a town that has high volume. Should be crazy. You, know, you just keep ping, 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 ping. But that's a beautiful thing, right? Because, like I said, you're at work at all times. You're in the vehicle. At all times. So that means wherever you're at, again, wherever you're at, you are at work. I can get up right now and go to California. All right, let's cut my app on <laughs> and work and just start driving. I can go to fucking Idaho. I can go to fucking Utah. I can go to fucking Arizona. I can go to fucking Houston. I can go to fucking New York. I can go to fucking well. I don't know about cross seas. You might have to do some documents. I don't know about that. But I can literally go anywhere and just start driving. Like, so the moving part, 
like I said, I go from hotel. I live a nomadic lifestyle now, so I'm never where I'm, I was before. Um, never where I was a month before. And I choose to live like that. It's a beautiful thing. And I make enough money to get these rooms, these expensive ass fucking rooms. And yeah, this is a cheap room, but this bitch like 400 a week. <laughs> this bitch is 400 a week. But, and it fluctuates. You go to hotel to hotel, it's different prices, different prices, whatever, blah, 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 right? But if you, when you plan it out, you can be able to handle that. When you plan out what you be able to handle, how you drive and all that stuff, again, it goes back to you can do how much you can handle, right? I can handle driving 12 hours a day. I can handle driving 10 hours a day. You might not be able to do that. You might be able to drive six hours a day, but guess what? You can do that shit anytime you get ready. You can work, drive for six hours, go home, stretch your legs out, take a nap, jack off, you know, do whatever you gotta do to get right. Go right back out. If you wanna do that, I've never done that. I, I've never been one to go. When I hit the grill, bro, I'm at the grill. Like, I ain't never done that, bro. But, um, you can though. If you like that, if you can literally come in, crash, come in, fall out, oh man, get back up about 30 minutes later, ah, ah, yeah, we out of here. You can do that. Literally, you can literally do that. Literally. Like, this shit is beautiful, all right? Um, it's another thing. It's just, and that's, that's probably like the overall roundabout of it. Oh, oh, not to mention you see these cities. I know, I guarantee you, I can come to your city. Your city. Unless you like a, unless you like a, like a fucking, unless you all live drive or Uber drive already and you, or you just, just be everywhere for some odd reason. I guarantee you in a week I know more streets than you. In your own city, I guarantee you. Guarantee you. I know more stores than you. I know more residence areas than you. I know what's for sale before you. I know a whole lot more stuff that you don't know. And you've been there your whole life. I can guarantee you. Because you everywhere. Now that might sound bad to a few people, but to people like me, if you were, if you were an explorer, that's a beautiful fucking thing, man. That is a gorgeous fucking thing. Like, I found out everything quickly. I know areas quickly. Now, whether I retain that information in my head is a whole nother thing. Whether you retain that in your head is a whole nother thing. But you get that. You get that opportunity to do that. It's a beautiful fucking thing, man. Um, let's see what else. Uh, dress. I literally got finished driving a little while ago, and I, this this is what I was wearing to work. My nigga, slippers, slippers, <laughs> slippers, shorts. I normally wear tank tops, but that's why I was so fucking hot out there too on the water floor. But this is my dress. I, this is how I dress to go to work. Ain't no uniform, no nothing. A uniform is what I want to put on. <laughs> Now, I know I get a lot of jobs like that, got that like that, and that probably ain't a big, big deal to a lot of people because, you know, some people is cool with looking like everybody else. <laughs> um, but I'm not. Then uh, if you're not, it's a beautiful thing. Like, uh, it's another thing. Uh, that's probably about it like, that I can think of right now. But I think I hit all the major things, like, the major things. Like, that's just... That'll take you over the moon with this shit. Like, um, that'll make you kind of not want to stop. You know, um, if you into driving. Again, this all comes down to if you like to drive. Right? Because if you don't like to drive, you won't last long out here. It's full time. Like I said, again, in all videos, I always say I'm talking to the people that want to be full time or full or have been full time and when thinking about getting back into it, I'm just reminding you what you're missing out on or <laughs> whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Links in the description. Literally. Links for Postmates, Uber, Lyft. Um, again, I always say, I always talk about these future videos I might make or whatever, but I'll talk about Postmates and delivering food, which I'm good too. Um, but... Let me see if I touched on everything. Yeah, I feel like I touched on everything. Um, I already know the vibes, man. 
Let me get close to you. Let me get close to you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> D-Day. Uh, Mayday.